All right, welcome back everyone. This is now part four of Outer Wilds. I'm Firefly Embers. I'm super glad that you're here with me again. Let's wake up. <sighs> Goodbye, Orbiter Probe Cannon. All right, so last time we did a few things. We uh, lost a few, uh, a few precious minutes in uh, some cycles to discover that the scroll that was in Statue Island uh, didn't tell us much after all. Uh, now we need to go back to um, Brittle Hollow. We already made a run run into it. Um, we know that we need to go there to find the uh, Southern Observatory. And last time we got there, it was a bit hard to navigate because, um, well, the planet kind of fell apart. So hopefully now that we go there a bit earlier, uh, we'll be having a much easier time to get around. We also know that uh, the black hole in the center of Brittle Hollow isn't an instant uh, death sentence. We actually go back to uh, White Hole Station, and there's apparently a way to um, warp back into Brutal Hollow from there. So they had, like, warp technology, which is exciting. Let's see all the new entries we got. So, first of all, Old Settlement. Uh, the Nomai constructed a temporary settlement beneath the, their crashed escape pod. The Nomai worked together to recall an eye-shaped signal they encountered while aboard the vessel. The signal was somehow older than the universe itself. The Nomai decided to call it the Eye of the Universe. The Nomai abandoned this settlement over growing concerns about its stability, which was wise because, uh, well, <laughs> the planet is pretty doomed. <laughs> uh, escape pod, pod 1. One of the three Nomai escape pods that crashed into uh, in our solar system. All three escape pods were launched from something called the Vestal which was badly damaged. A mural of a I mean, Nomai vessel encountering a signal. Now we know that the signal is the eye of the universe. A mural of Dark Bramble ensnaring the Nomai vessel. So it crashed into Dark Bramble. So, uh, whoops. A mural of three escape pods evacuating the Nomai vessel. We know that one got on uh, Brittle Hollow. The other is on uh, Ember Twin, and the third didn't escape Brittle Hollow. Uh, escape pod. One of the three Nomai escape pods landed somewhere on the Hourglass Twins. And we know it's on Ember Twin because one of the messages we encountered sent something about uh, Ember Twin not being uh, good for building because people tried to build there when they were. Uh, trapped on this planet. Escape pod 3. Uh, never made it out of Dark, dark Bramble. The Vessel. The Nomai warped to the solar system in a spaceship uh, called the Vessel. They were attempting to follow a signal from the Eye of the Universe. The Vessel crashed somewhere in Dark Bramble. So it did. The Nomai decided to migrate from the old settlement to the northern glacier. They used gravity crystals to craft a stable path beneath the surface which was very wise. White Hole Station Every Nomai warp tower is tuned to a specific astral body. To use a tower, you must be standing on the warp platform during the tower's alignment with its corresponding astral body. The alignment happens when the astral body is directly overhead. And there's more to find. Don't worry, we'll probably accidentally fall much more into the, the black hole. <laughs> oh yeah, we found Esker too, on the moon. Uh, Esker is growing a crop of trees at their camp. They seem to be doing okay, but they've probably been alone on the moon for too long. Yes. Poor Esker. A lookout platform with a spectacular view of the solar system. Esker uses their signal scope here to keep tabs on the other travelers. And harmonica signal. Esker's signal scope log reports harmonica music coming from somewhere on Timber Hearth. They claim it sounds just like Feldspar's harmonica, but Feldspar disappeared in space ages ago. Uh, that's something we'll uh, explore later. Uh, right now I'm really involved into uh, 
brutal hollow, so I'll go back there. But eventually we'll investigate the uh, Harmonica. So, I signal locator, which was on the moon. You know my device created to pinpoint the sources of distant signals. The Noai were disappointed by their failure to de detect a signal from something called the Eye of the Universe. Be back. Uh, Reback headed to Brittle Hollow to investigate something the Nomai were doing at the South Pole. Uh, did I say we were going to the North Pole? Because that is that is where we're, we're heading, the Southern Observatory. Uh, the Nomai decided to build a larger, more sophisticated eye signal locator on Brittle Hollow's South Pole. Very nice. And I think that about sums it up. Alright. Let's fly. Brittle Hollow? Ah, yes. I see the, the lantern. Now, um, People might wonder why I'm not going directly to the South Pole to get to the observatory. Uh, I'll show you. That was smooth. Alright. So, this is the observatory. I'll just land near it. I'll just leave this here. Not there. Uh, over there. So I know if the ship is going to get submerged. Let me in! Oh! Hello! Ow! So that's probably um, Reback's ship. There it is. So this would be the uh, entrance to the observatory, but like on Statue Island, the door is broken. I'm here. I did it. I put the ship the ship down safely. Um, in that ship, uh, wait. Um, in that sh the ship went down, and I didn't sustain bodily harm. A few minor repairs, and it's like the ship never even hit those rocks. One of my better attempts. Feldspar would barely have laughed at me a bit. That's the good news. The bad news. I um, haven't found a way inside the structure yet. The door is broken, and I know I'm not great at exploring. But I think I would have found a different entrance by now if, I, if there were one. But probably. <laughs> I can't get inside from here. But I know there are paths beneath the surface. I'm going to head north to the ruins on the equator uh, to try to find a way down. This is terrifying. Please leave. <laughs> oh god, surface integrity 52%. Time to get back to the ship. Okay. Now. I'll try to find the signal again. The distress beacon. Although there is a fire here. Hello, fire. Time to explore. Oh, ghost matter. Good God. Hello. 
Oh, that's a kid. Oh. Oh, so sad. Nice. Time to eat marshmallows because this is, as I've said before, the most important part of being a space adventurer. Nom 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 nom. Alright. The journey here from the South Pole has been... Um, I'm going to go with harrowing because of the... Um, all of the meteors. But hey, at least I made it here on Concussed and not on fire. Okay, let's see. I poked around a little, and there is some sort of old nomai path that starts across from my camp campfire, inside the ruined building with trees growing out of it. Doesn't look like anything horrible, just stairs leading down. I can handle stairs. After I get my supplies together, I'll follow the path and see where it leads. Hmm. Let's go to the building with trees coming out of it. I guess this is the one. Is there anything else to find here, apart from... Poor little children skeleton? I don't think so. Alright. Oh god. Oh good god. Nice. Yay. Magic path. Magic path. This is so cool! Alright. Gravity Crystal Workshop above 140 meters. So that's what this was. That's why there was a, uh, a broken Gravity Crystal uh, inside the building. Unidentified signal nearby. Oh, Rebecca is here. I'll go say hello. Um. Yes, of course. Let me just... <laughs> Ugh. Well, that was deeply unpleasant. I made it this far, though. Guess that's the part to focus on. And not how I'll eventually have to get back up that path. But wow, this place sure is something. Looks like the hanging city is north from here, and east is a gravity cannon. I definitely want to see that. And another thing, I'm detecting oxygen from somewhere below, which is good since I uh, used up a lot of my supplies screaming during the trip down from the surface. As soon as I stop dry heaving, I'm going to head further down below so I can refill my tank. Poor Ruby back. He had some, some trouble. Good lord. Alright, the hanging city, north 250 meters. I'll go say hi to Rebac before I head anywhere else. And that's probably the gravity cannon, yes. Hello, black hole. You big doofus. Re back! Re back, friend! I love you! <laughs> Alright. Is that jetpack fuel? Thank you. Such a good song. Oh, you launched! That's great! Great job, you! Wow, I guess that means I've been out here a while, huh? Well, um, this is Brittle Hollow, but you probably knew that. That's our history here. It's great. What are you doing here? I'm here to see the Hanging City. It's always been my dream to see it with my own four eyes ever since I was a hatchling. An alien race lived in this solar system long before our species even existed. How could I not want to see uh, what their civilization looked like? Oh, goodbye, island. Only... You've probably heard the others say it, right? I'm afraid of space. Seriously, I'm more surprised than anybody that I'm out here. Do you want to know how I even got this far? I fell. 
tripped over a gravity crystal. It's dumb luck I landed somewhere. My little scout says it's halfway stable, instead of being sucked into what's below. <laughs> I have been gouging the stability of the ground around, uh, around me using my little scout, and this seems to be the place with the best surface integrity. So I'm just going to stay here until I'm ready to move on. But that's enough about me and my problems. You didn't come all this way to listen to me, brother, did you? Hey, that'd be... Yeah. Alright, I learned something. Oh, cool. Um, what is it? <laughs> uh, I found the Nomai escape pod on Bridal Hollow. Wow, so then the Nomai probably came here from somewhere outside the solar system. And they must have been in trouble when they launched their escape pod. But what kind of trouble? And where did the escape pod launch from? I'm so curious. This is an amazing discovery. I hope you can find out more about how and why the Nomai arrived here. I learned something else. <laughs> I saw the old settlement. Isn't it amazing? Hard to believe that settlement is still standing, but there it is. It really makes you appreciate living somewhere like Timber Hearth. You know, somewhere that isn't being constantly bombarded by with meteors and rocks and stuff. <laughs> Alright, where should I explore from here? Oh wow, where shouldn't you explore here? Um, not the black hole actually. That's very no. Which is unfortunate because um, the most exciting stuff is all below the crust, including the hanging city. That's just to the north. You can kind of see it from here. There's also- oh god. There's also this big dome on the south pole called the Southern Observatory. Oh, goodbye island. Yeah, you can't get inside from the surface. Trust me, I tried. But if it's like the rest of the Nomai searchers here, there's probably a path to it beneath the crust somewhere. Good luck with exploring. Um, if you learn anything about the Nomai, I'd love to hear it. If it's too much fun or trouble. <laughs> All right, see you later. Time to move. The Tower of Quantum Knowledge. Mm. Seems interesting. But that's not where I want to be right now. All right. You might hear some stuff... Uh, in the background of my sound, that's because my cat is playing with something. <laughs> All right. Now, where is the hanging city? This way. Okay. Oh God. I think I made it here too late. Oh, God. Right, well... What if I try to go back to the... Uh, oh, that's was the... Was that the South Pole? That's not North Pole, okay. Uh, what is this? Crypto Crystal Workshop. Got it. And the Gravity Cannon. Good God! Fine, I'll go see the Gravity Cannon then. Uh, is this where I want to go? I suppose. My God. Look at this big cucumber thing. It's like the building in uh, in London. That straight up looks like a giant cu cucumber. All right. Yep. What? Almost fell. 
the crossroads. That's where we back is. Uh, what is this? Oh, the Southern Observatory. Alright, maybe it's not too late. Oh god. Oh. The crossroads. Okay. I should stop jumping everywhere. Uh, the shuttle is currently resting at the quantum moon. So something did land on the quantum moon. Exciting. Activate the gravity cannon. Or... Uh, call the shuttle home. Well, let's call it home. My god. My god is playing so hard. Ooh. Hello, no, my shotgun. Nice. Wait, what am I looking at? Okay. Sulanum, I'm here. After watching it wander the skies for so long, I'm about to stand for the first time on the quantum moon. As expected, my shuttle has landed at the moon's south, south pole. I will make the remainder of my journey on foot. We don't know why the quantum moon always welcomes its visitors at the south pole. Just that it, this is true. As a child, I considered such unknowns sinister. Now, though, I understand they bear no ill will. The universe is, and we are. I'm ready. Nice. Alright, I'll note things. I'll be right back. All right, very exciting. Um. Goodbye. Oh, no, 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 no. <coughs> I didn't like that. <laughs> that was close. All right. Uh, good. Let's try to go to the observatory. Wee. Oh God! Wait. Is the platform I'm heading to gone? Oh, it sure is. Oh, it is. That was dumb. <laughs> Shouldn't have survived that. <sighs> Alright. I'm going to the Southern Observatory, even if the planet tries to stop me. Broken crystals, no problem. Ow! <laughs> More broken crystals. Can I make that jump? No, but I can make this one. Alright. Okay, I don't want to go there. <laughs> That was lucky. I think I just avoided yeah, a patch of dark matter. Uh, ghost matter, I should say. Uh, where am I going? This way? Oh, no, 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 no. 
No. Ok, bueno. Well, goodbye. Uf. Let's go to the White Hole Station. Yay! You know, I called it. I knew I was going to uh, to mess something up on Brittle Hollow. And sure enough. So there is no uh, projection stone reader here? That's fine. Now this makes the station rotate, which is useful because now at some point the uh, teleportation thing will be facing uh, Brittle Hollow and we will teleport. Yeah, I guess I'll just keep this. Try to find a reader somewhere. And here it comes. Looking to go through the sun. Goodbye. <laughs> Whew. Well, sounds like I won't have time to read this. Oh, I'm at the North Pole. All right. Uh, departure time: twelve thirty-five six nine four zero three. Arrival time: twelve thirty-five six nine four zero two. Hmm. Return warp status charged. Stepped up to the warp receiver platform to activate uh, return warp. I'm good. <laughs> Fell spars. Uh, spare jetpack fuel. It's annoying to schlep across the planet on the, to the ship if I can't use my jetpack, so I'm leaving this here. I check with my little scout. I do too use it. Hornfells, you yeah, burnt much metal. <laughs> and the scout in 3D reading said this this piece of brittle hollow is as stable as, as any. But who knows? If the fuel's still around, feel free to use it. If not, well, wherever you're reading this note, I'm sure you've got bigger, bigger problems. <laughs> All right, we'll explore more of this uh, next loop. Goodbye, everything. See you later, alligator. Oh, goodbye, dog bramble. <laughs> Alright, that was a pretty good loop if I do, do say so myself. Let's try to make it even better. Let's go to Brittle Hollow. Once more. There is many things we need to go see. Suit. And... Scrabouche. There it is. You can't hide from me. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. 
but it's embarrassing. Oh, I broke the camera. I'm sorry. What is broken? A landing cam. All right. Well, do I need to fix things in, in here? No, seems good. All right. I'm sorry. All right. Is it good? It's not. Oh, hello. Hello, cat. What do I need to fix? Hmm. Let's see. Hello, cat. Hello, cat. All right. Sorry. I'm petting my cat. Because she's the most cute. Oh, hello. She's walking over me. I don't know what's broken. I don't know what's broken. Next to the truster? This one? Oh, oh, you got it. All right, got it. <laughs> All right, now that this is done, let's go back to Brittle Hollow and not crash on Temper Hearth. There it is. This time I'll. Oh god. I'll try to um, go back into the escape pod one path. Goodbye, interloper. Alright, there it is. I won't go back to um, the White Hole Station's uh, landing platform just yet. Uh, just because I'm, I know I'll fall again in the black hole. <laughs> I know myself. Oh, oh, okay. Alright, uh... Yeah, we read that already. Let's try to go on the on the path uh, along the crust. Hello, I. Goodbye, I. Now I think this will go to um, the Hain City. Good Lord. But I'm sure um, from there we'll be able to find the Southern Observatory without too many problems. Ah uh, yeah, that's that's a part that was missing last time we tried this. Uh, all right. Hello, Hanging City. All right. Hmm. 
Oh. Who no minds? It seems like something bad happened for skeletons to be everywhere around the settlements. What? 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 Excuse me? Alright, thank you. Okay, let's not go there. But I'm... If it's... If it's uh, not permitted, I, I do want to go there. Yay! Alright, cannot go down there. But we can go down this way. Is there something else? Ghost Manor. Oop. Alright. Very good. Hello, scroll. Oh, yeah, that's uh, a really neat detail. Look. This, uh... This looks different than the other writing. It's like a lot more crude, and that's because children wrote that instead of um, adults. Because the adults write really finely and really uh, uh, in a very small script, and children are a lot less dexterous, so they write with big letters. And I love that detail. <laughs> Lemmy, explanation of festivals. All the Nomai clans from all over the universe meet in one place to share what they've learned in science and art. It's called the festival. At some festivals, one clan's big discovery can mean all the Nomai get to advance too. Like Anona's warp core, which made it so everyone can warp long, distance, uh, long distances and explore more. Each clan has a festival and void to show their most interesting work. Our envoy was Touch. Nice. A single festival could last uh, could last a long, long time. Uh, in re in response to his own message, all of my clans from all over the universe meet in one place. Uh, we can't go because we're stuck here. But Felix says we used to go too. And look, that's an adult that um, responded. It's uh, a lot smaller and a lot uh, finer. Felix, don't forget, festivals happen every ten years. Nice. All right. I'll note some things. All right. So this is uh, oh, that's so sad. This is uh, a school. Um, we actually heard about Lamy before. Uh, he was on uh, Giants Deep and wanted to go to the. Uh, the first test of the statues and the the mask bearing, uh, but Flux told them not to uh, not to come. And uh, Felix has a teacher role. That's like a correction on an essay. Felix, we heard about. Uh, they were stranded here um, at first, and they also built the uh, eye signal locator on the moon with Cassava. Oh, we heard about Solanum. She was on... Uh, well, they were on the moon, uh, the quantum moon. They uh, they had the, the, the log in the shuttle saying that uh, they finally landed on the moon. And this is when they were a kid. All right, formation of the universe. No one knows how this universe was made. But one thing we do know is everything used to be very hot and very dense, tightly packed together. As this early universe expanded, it also cooled down. Once it had cooled down enough, particles were able to group together to form things like galaxies, stars, and planets. Since then, space has continued to expand at a faster and faster rate, which is hard to think about for too long without your brain hurting. <laughs> right you are, baby Solanum. This universe will keep getting colder and larger, until one day, the stars and the life they support will all die. That's scary to think about, even though Konoe tells me it won't happen in our lifetimes. But it'll happen in someone else's someday. Yeah, that's scary. 
and uh, Konoi is the um, kind of scientist in charge of the Southern Observatory. Very nice. Bip. Thank you for your beautiful essays. Um, I think that's that's it for here. I love this game so much. All right, I thought I missed a, uh, a scroll. I didn't. This way. Wait, 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 wait. Oh god! I'm good. I'm good. Are you good? I'm good. Let's go down. Oh! Scroll! Let's go read it. Oh, is that Felix? Oh. That might have been Felix when uh, they were teaching a class and... Oh, that's so sad. Alright. Elix, why we should build a new vessel? It probably wouldn't be hard to get parts if we stopped building other new things, and if we broke down other structures, like the towers on Ashtwin, for parts. We might have to build a smaller vessel for now, even though vessels are normally large, but we could make it bigger later, once we reach planets with more resources. It would also help if we stop building so many things in to search for the eye of the universe. I asked Yarrow, and he says we use lots of resources on the Ashtwin project. We could even have a warp core for jumping long distances, like vessels have. Poke tells me uh, she plans to make a very advanced warp core for a different project. I'm sure she could connect it to the vessel for travel, because Poke is smart. Nice. Uh, in response to uh, we should build a new vessel, each Nomai clan explores the universe in its own vessel. The vessel is the heart of every clan. It's unusual for Nomai to remain in one place for so long. Nomai are wanderers and have no permanent home. If you built a new vessel, we could return to our adventurous way of life. Imagine all the new places we could go. Our clan wouldn't be stuck here in this star system. We could even meet with other Nomai and learn from them, like Colius says we used to do. Nice. <laughs> I think Elix has some trouble with uh, this word. <laughs> Alright, I know some things. Alright. So Elix was a kid as well, but uh, they weren't on Giant's Deep when they tried to parody the statues. We didn't hear from them until now. Oh god! <sighs> well, I messed up. I'm getting distracted by all the things we can learn. I wanted to um, to go to the Southern Observatory and I'm here reading essays from kids on the Hanging City. <laughs> oh, right. Let's go down. Let's 
put it uh, this way because it's faster. Let's take the projection stone and let's teleport. And... Habloosh! Very good. Now let's see if that thing before was a bug. It said that we got here like one uh, millionth of a second, I guess, uh, earlier than we left. Which is freaking weird. Departure time, 733-60404. Arrival time, 733-60403. Again, we arrived before we left. That's... That's uh, a bit weird. Yep. The Hanging City. Yeah, I would love to go back down there, but we can't. Oh well. Um, Clary, to our friends on Brittle Hollow, I just warped here from the White Hole Station, on the other side of Brittle Hollow's Black Hole. Our design worked. We've successfully recreated warp travel. Poke. I don't know how close it is to Anona's original design, but as long as what we've built works, then I'm delighted. I knew we could do it. Cassava, I hope you're reading this. Poke. Wait, this can't be correct. Clary, have you seen these readings? If they were accurate, they would violate causality. Uh, there must be an equipment error somewhere. Poke, I'm returning to the White Hole Station. If you and Root meet me there, uh... Then we can run a full diagnostic and hopefully locate the problem. Don't tell Cassava. <laughs> After all, I hope Cassava isn't reading. <laughs> Felix, this is wonderful news. I can't wait to see the warp tower, although it's been a long time since I've jumped through a black hole. <laughs> yeah. So, it seems like when uh, Clary teleported, Poke noticed that there was a, a problem with the readings as well. Like, they tried to fix it, but obviously something didn't work out because the machine still says we arrive here earlier than we leave. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Alright, I know, I know things. Great. Uh, so this is the first we've heard of Clary and Poke. Seems like they, they were involved in building this new warp technology. Very good. Oh. Very sad. Pi. Rami and I reviewed the records she sent, Poke, and they appear to show Nomaya arriving, arriving at the warp receiver on Brittle Hollow slightly before departing from the White Hole station. Pi. As I've already told Rami, these measurements can't be accurate. How can an Amaya arrive on Brittle Hollow before he or she ever stepped into the teleporter? The implications are absurd. Uh, Poke, as Spy is confident uh, the reading is inaccurate, she is kindly helping me attempt to recreate this phenomenon at the High Energy Lab. We're designing an experiment to take more data. Pi, an update. Poke, the High Energy Lab is in the canyon on Ember Twins Equator. Come here at once, you need to see this. Hmm. In in response to Pi's message uh, that the measurements can be accurate, Poke said, I don't disagree. It wouldn't mean I've inadvertently broken several fundamental theories regarding this universe. We would have to reconsider all of our beliefs uh, about the nature of time. Rami, yes, I hope so too. <laughs> yeah. In response to uh, uh, the fact that People appear to arrive before they left. Uh, Poke responded, I understand it exceedingly odd, but Clary and I have tested and retested the equipment and the result is the same every time someone warps. Remy, the interval is incredibly minus minuscule, roughly one hundred thousandth of a second. Do you suppose our instruments can't accurately measure time to such a small degree? I guess that's uh, a possibility. Oh, good God. Is 
Is this the the thing for the high energy lab? Goodbye, uh, Ash Twin. So, that's something we need to add to the list of things to explore. Uh, the high energy lab tried to recreate um, an experiment to see if it's possible to travel uh, through time. And it's on Ember Twin, so we'll need to get there someday. Oh god. Oh, I missed up. No, I didn't. I saved it. Felix, has anyone observed the phantom moon that sometimes greets us in the night sky? Your thoughts interest me. Thatch, I compliment your eyes. How did you imagine it disappears? Hypothesis, could it be a shift in the light spectrum? Plume responded, suppose this moon is too shy to, uh, to show us its face. Yes, that is probably the most... Um, likely explanation. <laughs> I'm interested in your playful moon. Is it much like its violent friend, Hollow's Lantern? <laughs> this moon isn't volcanic to my unaided eyes. Sometimes it leaves its friend, Hollow's Lantern, for nights at a time. The nights the moon circles its planet appear random. It seems to travel as it likes. Thatch, imagine if there were two volcanic, volcanic moons. Poom responded, then I imagine there'd be none of us left. Felix, hypothesis, they can exist, <laughs> there can exist too much lava. <laughs> Thatch responded, I strongly prefer we test the null hypothesis. <laughs> Alright. So this is the first official time they put into writing that the quantum moon just teleports around, which is exciting and scary. Alright, uh, let's go back to the ship. That way we can go back beneath the crust. Although I think at this point there's not enough time to go back to uh, the hanging city. Hmm. It's fine. So, let's try to find, um, I guess we'll try to find Rebank again. Gravity Cannon. Campfire. I'm sure at this point in the uh, in the loop uh, we can't really follow the path under the crust. So uh, let's just try to do something else. Let's see what we have the time to do. Uh, where are the trees? There are the trees. I'll just throw myself. Oh, I broke my legs. <laughs> Hello, we're back. So this is for the hanging city. Can't go there yet. Well, anymore, I should say. Uh, cryptic crystal workshop, that's where we came from. Cryptic cannon. Hello. Oh, 
All right, so if I want to go to the Southern Observatory, I think it would be faster if I go straight to the uh, gravity cannon then. Didn't think about that. Whoops. No one, no one say it was me. Please. All right, this way to the Southern Observatory. Yes, that is correct. Throw me! This would require perfect execution. Perfect. Beam me forward, Scotty. Perfect. I am the best. And video games. Yep. Catch me. Ow. <laughs> Okay. Now I do need to go. Oh, so I can make this jump. Oh god. Well, seems like we won't make it to the southern observatory this time. Well, never say never. Well, hmm. <laughs> we see some of the uh, the gravity things just pushing away at nothing. Come at me, son. I'm ready. I'm surprised that I haven't died in the loop yet. I always reach the end. That is sure to change. Alright, goodbye everyone.